what's going on. Today I got a pretty good video. We're gonna be installing some LED strips in the wheel wells and behind the grill. This company, No Limits LED Lighting, uh, sent me these. And here are the strips. They sent me five pieces like that. This is in their wheel well and grill lighting kit. It's $40 on their website, I think, 40 or 45, something like that. And yeah, basically, these have a self-adhesive on the back, peel, peel and stick, stick it to the back of the wheel well and a spot in the grill. And uh, yeah, that's all the kit comes with, that and sticker. And I went to O'Reilly's and got some 18 gauge uh, red and black wire and some zip ties to wire everything up. And I just got an assortment of butt connectors and wire taps so we can uh, get everything wired up. I got this switch. It's a basic switch from O'Reilly's. Hopefully I won't have to use it. I can wire it straight into the running lights on the truck. Well, I got all the lights here. I'm just gonna end up uh, testing them before I try putting them all on. Uh, I got a 12 volt charger for an uh, electric motorcycle. And the way I'm gonna test it is I'm gonna take the ground and the, the red wire, straighten them both out. And I'm gonna stick the red inside the little charger the hole through the middle. Get it. I'm gonna get it straight. That way, it all goes in. Don't touch the outside. I'm sure. And then touch the uh, black wire to the outside of the charger. And uh, yeah, everything lights up. They're pretty bright. But and they're uh, clear white too. So set that one to the side and test the rest of them. You can see here, in each wheel wheel, there's a spot on the uh, on the top that faces kind of the inside toward the bottom. And uh, that's where I'm gonna mount each of these strips. I got this one right here. I went ahead and put some butt connectors and cut two pieces of wire, just as long as the truck. And I'm gonna mount it up in here, poke a hole in it with a drill and uh, feed the wire through through the hole and then try to run it down the frame all the way to the front. Uh, yeah, all right, so you can see right there, I uh, poked a hole with a drill and had to cut it out a little bigger with a razor blade. And I got the wire all fed through. Got some pieces long to run all the way to the front, hopefully to connect to one of the amber lights and we'll get it working. And yeah, it turned out pretty clean. Clean look, hopefully it uh, holds on good. Right there, I was worrying about maybe starting to peel and come off, but I think it'll be pretty good. Let's get uh, four more spots wired up and get these wires tucked under the truck. We start working on hooking them up. Well, guys, you can see, I actually found a fuse tap in one of my random junk drawers in my toolbox. So to hook these up, I'm gonna be using a fuse tap instead of wiring straight into them uh, headlight wires but that'll be better anyways these uh fuse taps are pretty dang good i don't even remember what this is for hopefully i can remember because right now i don't have a clue but we'll get back to it all right guys i finally got all the wiring done i'll get under here and show you the way i ran it all so you can see the light up in the wheel well and I poked the wire through, ran them both down. And over the little part of the frame right there. And all the way to the front. And it goes up in the uh, engine bay. And then coming from this wheel well, over here, this is the back passenger side. You can see the light up there. The wires come down right here. The wires come down from over there, run over the exhaust, the drive shaft, the fuel tank, come over here, and you can see I got the wire taps right here. I'll put a quick little video in right now to show you how those work. Hey guys, you can see right here, I got the wires underneath the truck. About to hook up one of these little guys, the wire tap. Basically, all I'm gonna do, take this wire right here, snip it. This is the wire that's going into the main wire. 
So you can see the there's a stopped up side of the wire tap right there. So I'll put this through, make sure it's kind of going in all the way. And then this open side, you just stick the, top, the wire that you're tapping into in like that. Make sure it's in, make sure it kind of moves freely. That way you know that you are in. And you're just gonna push that little tab down. And what I should, what I should do is uh, go right over the coating and make contact with the wire in there. Then you close the little thing on top of it, and you're good to go. I'm just gonna put a zip tie around these, try to hold them together, maybe secure them a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, yeah, then the wires come together right here. So it's just one wire from the back uh, driver's side all the way to the front. And then the back passenger side goes straight, at, straight into that wire and goes all the way to the front. So now I'm right here at the front driver's side and see the light mounted and the wire runs right in. And I pop the flap down on the front of the uh, a wheel well liner. And I ran the wires through and pulled them up through the battery or to the side of the battery box. And uh, yeah, that's where they run through right here. And then on the front passenger side, same thing. Poke the wires through right there, pull the flap down and pull them, pull them up through by the battery box or underneath it. And you see the wires right there. They run down. In the front of the grill, I had to take the grill off, put the light in, and where I put the light right there. But you can see the wires come in from right there, hooked to the light, mounted on the bottom of the grill. And then the wire continues over here, and that's where they all come together. So basically, I got the grounds going together right there and running into the ground on the frame right here. And then the uh, the hot wires from everything. This is from the <clears throat> the front lights and the uh, all the lights in the back that run on the one wire. This is where they come together. And what I got here is a fuse tap. Now for Mopars or at least Rams, I know they use a Micro Two ATR fuse. So you got to get a Micro Two ATR fuse tap, and they're kind of hard to find but you can find them. I found this one at AutoZone. I had to drive all the way across the county to find it. Before that, like five years ago when I had another Ram, it was a pain to find them too. But I got this one here, luckily. The fuse tap I had earlier wouldn't work. It was the regular size, I didn't think nothing about it. But I got it on, basically it just comes with this wire hanging off and then a butt connection. So I stuck all the wires in that butt connector. And what you do is this fuse tap, and you notch a little spot in the fuse box right there, and you can run the wires through, and you're going to find a fuse that you can use to uh, to tap off of. So basically, it plug, it, you pull the fuse out, and you plug the prongs in like a fuse, and then you got two fuses off of this. So if you're using 10 amp fuses in your fuse tap, just pull a 10 amp fuse out. And the one I used right here is going to be this one right here in the middle. And it's for the backup camera. So yeah, so see, you can see the fuse tap in right there and the wires going out and they don't get pinched anywhere in the fuse box cover when you latch it down. And uh, what you're gonna do is make sure yours will latch down without pinching any wires. Tuck your wires out of the way so they don't get caught in anything. I'm going to come back and do a better job with that, maybe. And, uh, yeah, you're going to want to make sure your lights come on with the switch and make sure they're not already on with the truck off. So they are not right now until I come in here. 
Got all the accessories on now. And the lights are on. And that's basically it. I'll show you some pictures of it at night. Maybe I'll get some videos. But that's basically it for these lights. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple install. It's mainly just two wires running through the whole time and just using assortment of butt connectors and wire taps and a fuse tap to get it all going right. And you don't have to wire up a switch or anything. The only thing is, is if you ever have to turn them off for some reason, um, yeah, you'll have to pull that fuse out and put a fuse back in. You can't just cut them off a switch. But it's not really a problem for me, I don't think. Uh, cops around here don't really say anything, and they're mainly white lights. They do have a blue tint to them. That's the only thing I really don't like about them is uh, I wish it was more of a clear white light, but it's not. So, But if you like the lights and everything, you can order them in different colors and everything from no limits LED lighting. And uh, you can also get wheel lights there and uh, a more... Uh, like classic style of rock light there they sell and uh I, i'm not sure what else they have but the kit i got was 45 dollars, and uh yeah you can go pick it up from no limits led and uh use the code cbassgt at checkout uh hopefully they got the code up and working and uh let them know i sent you um i don't think it's really a discount code yet maybe we can work that out but for now that's all for the video uh hope you learned a little from the install and uh i know i sure learn something every time i do one of these jobs but thanks for watching okay.